Hello, TCPW and I, Creepypasta Reads, are starting a brand new segment called Dual Narration. We need three stories, one per round, and if you finish the whole thing you get five points, but if you laugh you lose a point. Also, if you mess up three times you lose a point. Whoever has the most points at the end wins the game. In the case of a tie, there will be a sudden death round, where they will attempt to read a really really bad story without messing up or laughing. Whoever makes it through longest without doing either wins. <laughs> Alright, I got this. 16 seconds worth of money right there. Yeah. Alright. I'm going down this time. I may have gotten destroyed last time I challenged you, but I'm gonna win this time. Alrighty, pal. Bring it up. <sighs> Alright, this one's called, I Am Real. Alright. I am a real pile of hot wax. Are you kidding me? That's one of the stories I had. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, no. Okay, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> no. You want to cut this one out? No, you it's, wanna... no, that's fine. You just beat me to the punch, that's all. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this one's called, uh, Zombie Chicken Taco. Oh. There was a taco chicken zombie, and it was suddenly Thursday, but it was yesterday. I so scared. Then a zombie bit my chicken with its taco. I then ate, then I ate my zombie taco birds with my derpy moose friend Sam, and it was a scary thing. It was a scary thing I've seen, Arvar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, and uh, this one is called Doodle Jump Suicide. One scary dark night, I was playing Doodle Jump, and he missed the rocket. And when he f and he fell, when I click said replay, he came back as a dead booty. I felt sorry for him. Then I went lol, whatever. It's just a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I think I lost a point. We both did. That night, Doodle Jump killed me with a rocket. Now I'm dead. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, and that's all. My, that's all of my. <coughs> that's all your. That's all your that's short. All my... Short ones to make up one. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all. Whew. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna get rid of I'm real. Cause you know. Because I did that one. Yeah. You, yep. have to... you can do It's All Ogre, but you know, I already read that one. Yeah. <clears throat> you can do What Eat. I, I got one. Alright. Somewhere in New York City, there is an old homeless man missing both of his legs, knees down. Whose spot along the streets is the corner of Lexington, and he's 21st, near Grammar Grammarkey Park? Approach him after nightfall, and give him no pennies, no dimes. Ask him, what did you see on the other side? He will then tell you all about his travels to other realms before he lost his legs. Now, he lost his money. It's up to you whether to believe him or not. But as you listen, you'll find yourself being drawn in with every story. You must stay alert, or the old man will notice your intentiveness, and he will scowl. And with a scowl, he will stop imparting wisdom. He will chase you as fast as he can, tottering on his stubs. The other reason you must stay alert is to check the time. Before midnight, you must interrupt him. Do not let him finish whatever story he's telling you at the moment and say, I've heard enough, old man. Good day and good luck, then walk away. Make at least two left-hand turns around the block before going about your business. You must do this, because anyone who stayed to listen past midnight is never seen again, at least not at this particular plane of existence. Bum, bum, psh. Is that it? Yeah. Oh god. 
Just the stub part. Can you picture that old guy like, <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Oh god, I, I freaking just like came across another one. I might just freaking replace one of my stories I have now. Oh god. Um. All right, I'm gonna repl I'm gonna use this one for next next game. All right, I gotta replace this one. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> this one's called Death Man. Oh. One day there was a spooky video game that I found at the garage sale and it was Pokemon. I turned on the Pokemon and at first it was static and then made a funny noise like bzz, bzz, bzz. I thought whatever, everyone knows that garage sale games make this noise because they are old and broken and this is what old broken games do. I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, yeah, the I don't either. The logic is flowing right now. <sighs> okay, I turned, I, <clears throat> I turned on the game, and there was four Pokemons. Charizard, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. Bulba, Bulbasaur. What? And one other one. I picked the one other starter Pokemon, and its name was Death Man. It looked like a regular Bulbasaur. Oh Only God. instead of leaves, it had skulls. I thought that this was freaky, but I thought, whatever, this is only a game, right? So I picked Death Man, and its cry was like a Charizard cry, only instead of the regular cry, it said, I am eat you. Oh my this God. made me really scared of the game. So I went to the Pokemark and, and said to the shop man, buy Pokeballs, but instead it gave me skulls. This was scary, so I went to the end of the game and got other kinds of Pokemon, and the game was normal, except Grey Oak didn't appear, and instead there was another skull. I beat what? the game, but, in, but instead of it ending normally, I, it went to another level. This was a scary level, and the music from the ghost town played, because that is scary music. Oh, is it now? A man popped up and said, You killed so many Pokemons, you should feel guilty. But I said, lol, you're a game and shut it off. <laughs> I went to bed, but, but in it, I had a dream about Death Man, and he shot skulls at me, and the music, oh. from, the, and the music from Ghostland <laughs> played over and over, and all the Pokemons I killed in the game came and said, Ooh, you are bad for killing Pokemon. <laughs> then I woke up, but Death Man was still there! Bum -bum -bum. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. I was trying so hard not to laugh, and the picture is like the. I'll send you the picture later. The picture is just like a. It's like a black Pokemon trainer, and the caption's like, "Hey girl, let me squirtle on them Jigglypuffs." <laughs> I just I can't. I just can't. As soon as it was like, "Lol, just a game," I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> I was trying so hard not to laugh on that one. I came across it and I saw the end of it and it's called Death Man and it's a Pokepasta. I was like, oh god, Mario's gonna get a kick out of this one. Yeah, Pokepastas are like my weakness. <laughs> I should have saved that one for last, but oh well. Alright. It's your turn, son. One fine day, my Windows Vista laptop from 1953, I decided to lock up some Nikki porn. After going through all the gay sites to animal porn sites, I found what I was looking for, skeleton porn. After taking my condom what? and clicking the link, I took me to a site where I had downloaded. I decided, why the fuck not? I hit download after 41Y0, shit, that number is okay. Days after, I feel was dawn, sneezed my skeleton at this point. It was for me. And I was spooked to move, but when I opened it, I shat myself with sheer terror. <laughs> it was skeleton shitting everywhere, and he did hyperrealistic blood and poop. The girl died by monkey abs and shat myself again, and then the hyperrealistic blood started coming out of the computer, and I died. What? <laughs> Oh jeez. Okay. That that was that was a good one. That was good stuff. 
I didn't even read that one. I was just like, ah, I'll do this one. It looks grammatically incorrect. This one looks very, very grammatically incorrect. It's called Slen Slenderman, the 10 part epic. Oh. Chapter one. I moved to the middle of death, blood, no escape woods. Today, nothing could possibly go wrong. Chapter two. <laughs> Zalgo cupcakes, Ben, smile dog, you're welcome. What? Chapter 13. <laughs> Slund Slunderman. Slander's man's recolor cousin with hyper-realistic bloody eye socket attacked me today. He then chased me into the lake. However, I morphed into a shark and kicked his ass. Hole 4. Today I found out that I was an evil clone sent to destroy myself, so I did. Then I enjoyed a nice cup of radioactive snakes. Ah. Chapter 5, The Secret of Monkey Island. Patrick oh was, fighting, was fighting the zombie Zambonis today. He then sat on the toilet to shoot them. I, chapter 666. I went super demon today. Everyone's je Everybody's jello jealous of my dragon balls. Oh my god. Chapter, chapter 77, Retapahuk. Oh. I went to the jungle today. Me and Snoop Lion smoked mushrooms. Chapter 80s. I found a super scary disc called yourdumb.exe. I put it in my iPhone and there and then there was blood everywhere and a scaly bone popped out. Chapter 911. I raped Sonic today. But then Slenderman showed up and we had a fight to the death and I'm died. Look to your <laughs> neck and I and I'm died. You're next. Look behind you. <laughs> You're gonna get a kick out of this last part. Ch chapter ten. I lied, lol, you has no swag. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the end? Please let me the end. Yeah, it's the end. Okay. <laughs> that one was insane. That was awesome. <laughs> I found, an, I lied, I found I a one sentence one. No, I could just do my last story. Alright. Okay. So what you're gonna do all you're gonna do your uh, three sentence ones? Well I just have one sentence one, then I have a short one. Okay. That's gonna count as one. Jesus raped my family, I scored. <laughs> Oh, that was a what? Because I saw it was like recent wiki activity. I'm like, what's what's this Jesus one? I'm like, oh, I was about to click on that one. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> and it realized it was a one one sentence one. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. One night, I was on YouTube listening to my normal selection of music when suddenly I heard my dog bark. I began to walk down the creaky wooden floorboards, but then something felt wrong. I did not see a banana peel, left my fat, ugly sister, and accidentally slipped. As I tripped down the stairs, I began to rage. I screamed, fuck, <laughs> after facing. <laughs> I was about to read this one. <laughs> after falling face first on my diamond crusted floor, I slowly got up. Then I heard my dog started to howl. I finally found him next to the door. He had to take a big dog dump. But I was agitated at this point. I said to him, Aw, do you want to go out? Then my dog ran in a circle showing me he had to go. I said, Well, okay then. I then picked him up and opened the door and punted him to the moon and said, See you later, alligator. I heard what? it. I heard my cat meow. And the sound scared me. So I tripped and fell on my fat, ugly sister. I then picked her up, opened the door again, punted her, but she did not go far. She was too heavy. She went plummeting down to the ground, screaming, I'll be back, in her normal Arnold Schwarzenegger sounding voice. I said to myself, that's a job well done, and then I went back to sleep, only to realize that I was dreaming. Phew, I said to myself, but then I realized that was also a dream, and I was actually in a stew pot full of illegal drugs. And carrots, what? by the way. To my surprise, I saw my dog, and I realized he was the king of armadillos. Then he surrounded, then he was surrounded by platypuses that followed his every command. 
Rage began to swell up inside me again, so I jumped out of the stew pot and took out my portable bazooka and blew everyone up. The end. <laughs> I read the end of that story and I saw the picture. <laughs> <laughs> The dude was like, oh god, you gotta like put that up on the screen. Do I? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know who won that one. I think it may have been a sudden death one. Right now. We'll find out when I edit. Alright. Alright. So we're gonna do an we're gonna do another one after this.